what is going on uh what's going on collective uh welcome back to my channel it's your boy adam ra uh like comment share subscribe um yeah so this is i mean this is gonna start off as kind of like a petty reading um so last night um somebody kept trying to tap into my energy right you know what i'm saying they kept trying to uh reestablish a connection with me which is what they kept trying to do right they kept trying to uh send people in to like have this imaginary uh sex session is what it was and uh not only that it's like they were trying to tap into like my dream space and shit like that right again right? after all the karma and shit they went through is not enough whatever it is um, the karma that they're going through is not enough, right? Them losing shit, going through shit, losing their mind, losing their emo emotions out of whack, and people in their family uh, getting hit with all kind of karma, people not knowing why, and them uh, uh, blaming people saying that I sent this or somebody else sent this towards them. But in reality, you haven't stopped doing spell work, basically, is what's going on here. So there will be harsh repercussions, but before... We get to the harsh repercussions. Guess what? So I was sleeping. I was having this dream and I'm watching these events take place. And basically it was kind of like a family that was like doing some shit. I'll go into that shit later, right? And it was weird because I got to this one part of the dream where it was like uh, something was saying like. Uh, I forgot what happened. It's kind of like you ever been, had went to church and after church you like went to like your cousin's house or something like that well essentially that's the whole vibe of the whole dream right only this time i ended up going to somebody's house that i never even knew everybody had like their parents and shit there so yes this is the same family that was sending spiritual warfare towards me right so everybody's personality was in you know everybody was doing what their personality does and all that other shit so there's one person in the group that does have money right <clears throat> and they have like this daughter who is like uh i want to say like a uh, snobbish right and i'm not saying she's stupid but you know it comes from somebody has like this upscale family or whatever right or not even upscale just uh sophisticated right and um they took me to their house there was some shit going on in their basement and it was like look don't go in the basement there's a demon down there and I'm like, at first, I'm just like, oh, shit. But the reality of the situation, that's where all the secrets are hidden, in the basement, right? So if you ever have a dream about somebody and they try to warn you not to go in a certain area, go in that area. Because then you'll get to see what they're hiding, what's in their, psycho their psychotic mind, their mind, what's going on in their mind, right? So, yes, this is a female that came, that made this attempt last night, right? Well, I, after, you know, everybody was at pretty much at this person's house, nobody was really talking. It was just a bunch of like, you know, people just sitting around looking at each other and shit like that, you know? Well, after that, um, people kind of like split up or whatever. And I ended up in this dining room area. And when I was in the dining room area, it was this old woman talking to this girl, right? And she says something like, uh, yeah. What you need to do is you need to take, you need to get you some vinegar and some milk and make a bath out of it. And I'm just like, wow, I had that idea for a spiritual bath. And I woke up saying that. And then I got to thinking and I'm like, that's the bitch who pussy stank. That's who the fuck that was. The, the same bitch that, that isn't cleaning herself or that has that bacteria infection and shit like that in her pussy and stuff who keep doing spell work. It's that bitch. She's a, she just got instructed to take like a, a vinegar and milk bath, right? A vinegar and milk bath. And the reason why is because a vinegar and milk bath is, is known to stop bacterial growth because that's how you know she's infected. Her pussy is infected. It's not, it doesn't just stink. It's infected, right? And that, I don't know if she's been hiding that. Well, you can't hide the smell. People smell her before they meet her, right? But yeah, yeah. 
That's what's been going on. She's been trying to snap that pussy back. That's what's going on. She didn't do no spell work on snapping that pussy back or getting that yoni scent out of there. But she probably did. She probably did. But it, and, you know, it comes from probably killing all kind of dead babies and shit in there. You know what I mean? All kind of like abortions and shit like that. Now her pussy just, it's just, ugh. 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 I don't even want to think about it. Ugh. And it was crazy because I kept having these, like, because I've been making different shit lately, right? And um, something in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh, you should make a yoni bath. You should make a yoni bath. No, bitch, you need to make a yoni bath. That's what you need to do with your funky pussy ass. That's what you need to do. You need to go see the doctor. So instead of going to see the doctor, this bitch is doing all kind of baths and shit, like home remedy baths and shit like that. That's going to make it worse. You watch see what I tell you. Even though it help other people, this is what's gonna make it worse for her. Now, I have the pleasure of pulling on that energy because it tapped into my energy yesterday. I have the pleasure of pulling on that energy. I keep telling this bitch that I don't fucking want her. And now I know her pussy stink and she got and she got shit. Ugh, like who the fuck want to deal with that shit? Who want to deal with that? You can't have kids with no hoe like that. You can't have a family with a bitch like that. You fuck around. You have, them kids gonna come out with white shit all over their face and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Ugh, that's nasty as fuck. You can imagine what her house look like. If she ain't taking care of herself, you know what her house look like, man. That's some nasty ass shit, dog. That's some real nasty ass shit. Ugh, I don't even want to pull on her dirty ass energy. You know, dirty, dirty bitch. We know what her future is. That milk in that vinegar bath. <laughs> oh, no, dog. She been doing a spiritual bath with milk and vinegar, dog. <laughs> and it's not for spiritual reasons. <laughs> Oh, let's see, let's see what the ancestors have to say. Ooh, you got seven. Hold on, just a second. Ugh. Uh, so, seven one three. So I got um. You got Uranus in the first house, and uh, what is this? Yeah, Uranus. Um, let's see, that's the planet. So, let's see, planet constellation. Yeah, Uranus and Aries in the first house. I mean, the third house. Yeah, Uranus and Aries. So, uh, basically, um, the vibe I get with that is like somebody's trying to, like, I guess, redefine themselves, or somebody's trying, somebody define themselves based off of like uh you know um their like the ideas that they have or something like that well not necessarily that they would define themselves based off of um like the battles that they incur right somebody's defining themselves based off the battles that they incur or uh the fights that they go through almost like collecting scars or something like that is what i'm getting here because it has uranus has to do about shock and um and rebellion so the more shock value they add to people that's how they define themselves in creating um you know dramatic situations and shit like that so let's see what the uh, ancestors have to say you got the magician in reverse and you got the uh what is this the uh eight of eight of pinnacles in reverse yeah so yeah somebody um spell work is backfiring here Somebody probably tried to do like a money spell or something like that to keep from working or something like that. Somebody is refusing to go to work or that's the vibe that I'm getting or uh, something like that. But the vibe I'm getting is that there's something backfired. This has to do with backfiring energy or something not working out in a, in a magi magical way for somebody. And it probably has something to do with this eight of pentacles in reverse. Somebody probably wanted an easier life or something like that. Or they probably even wanted to, um, 
maybe they were manifesting uh uh maybe uh, a way to uh you know what i'm saying like uh to to not necessarily like steal but uh more uh fight somebody for something that they have so that they can live an easier life that's what that shock and rebellion is about right yeah you got the eight of pentacles back out here you got the three of pentacles out here and you got the empress card out here so yeah somebody was fighting for some somebody else's life and it has to do with or somebody else's spouse because you have the empress out here you have the three of three of pentacles out here and you have the eight of pentacles out here whoever this person was they were trying to do spell work uh to get basically to have somebody in this uh rebellious energy or they're trying to rebel against somebody's lifestyle because they think that this person's life is really easy has to do with the empress this could be a libra or a tourist but vibe i'm getting here is it could be anybody with um it could be uh any empress or divine feminine energy here <clears throat> uh, they're also rebelling against your union there's a union that's coming in for you as well as the work that you do so it has to do with your love life and your uh your beauty love life and your uh work essentially is what's going on here yeah you got the seven of swords in reverse the nine of swords in the upright and you got the ten of pentacles in the upright here yeah so this person has been like um they're trying whatever it is they're trying to play mind games on you to try to get you to uh believe what you have isn't uh as valuable as it is or it doesn't have whole uh, value to you and that's because this person is really worried about that. It's like they're stressed out about that. And they're stressed about this Ten of Pentacles that you're getting ready to have. Or that you already have. You probably already have this some form of stability or whatever it may be. And this person wants you to doubt yourself. and or Yeah, they want you to doubt yourself. They want you uh, to sabotage yourself into overthinking something. Or to be stressed out about your situation. And about your Ten of Pentacles. Okay? Last but not least, we got the strength card here. We got the death card here. And got the two of cups in reverse. Yes. So essentially what we have here is a Leo and a uh, Scorpio energy here. But the vibe that I'm getting here is that um, with this Leo energy out here, you're in your full power is what I'm seeing here. You're in your full power and it's the vibe I'm getting here is that no matter what transformation is sent or directed towards you or whatever energy designed to end something in your life, you learn to transform and step over it. Like with this death card here, how he's stepping over that person, the person, you know what I'm saying? So you're learning how to transform at a high rate is what's going on here. Because at first, essentially what they were trying to do, you were growing at an at a exponentiated rate. And they kept throwing obstacles in your way. But that right there taught you how to change according to the situation. And now you are transforming rapidly. Which means that, you know, the attack that they throw at you only affects your former self or the self that they believe to. You know what I'm saying? And then when you transform. Once you transform, you transform out of that because you're in a whole new energy now. You see what I'm saying? It's like alchemy. Yeah, and that's why they're, somebody's trying to get you to step away from some kind of uh, partnership because essentially this person likes you, I guess. And that's the vibe that I got, that this girl took me, me and this girl went to go see a woman. I don't know if this woman was a, a, a diviner, was somebody who uh, does divination, if it was her mama, her auntie, but this giving the vibe of somebody older than her who um, give her advice and stuff like that. And I guess the bitch went in there and was like, well, my pussy stinks and he talks about my vagina and it smells. How am I supposed to make this happen? And she was like, what you do is you get you some milk and you put some vinegar in it and you take a milk bath. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Be aware of that out here. There's somebody, there's a, there's a funky bitch out here doing a uh, spiritual bath. What was that? Ricky Smiley said, I ain't heard funky bitch since 78. <laughs> but there's really a funky bitch out here. There's a funky bitch out here. How did that song go? 
Uh, Josie didn't wear no drawers, a funky woman. Smelled them when she pulled them off, a funky woman. She put them in a washing machine, funky woman. Draws ain't come out clean, funky woman. But she threw them on top of the house, a funky woman. The funk killed Mickey Mouse, a funky woman. <laughs> Oh man, dear, what, what did it say? Um, uh, uh, she gave she she gave her draws to Santa Claus, a funky woman, but Santa Claus don't want no funky draws. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I'm gonna link that in the description. Uh, y'all gotta hear Rick, the Ricky Smiley. It's the first part of the show. It was singing that funky woman, funky woman, uh, song. So you know that bitch ain't out here wearing sundresses. You know that much. You know that. Ain't no, ain't no sundress teaser was canceled for this bitch. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> You'll see why I say that in the video, though. You'll see why I said that in the video, man. You'll see why I said that. Oh man. Oh man. Alright, let's see what else we got out here. Alright. You got Mars. And uh, uh let's see. Let's see. Aries Taurus J point seven. That's Libra, I think. Yeah, that's Libra. Mars and Libra. Mars and Libra. And the ninth house. Okay, so Mars and Libra in the ninth house generally has to do with somebody defining themselves through the relationships and uh, friendships that they have. They, whoever their wit is, who defines them. So they have to have somebody. Like it's kind of like somebody has to have a partner that represents them essentially like no matter where they go like you know their their partner represents them essentially or how somebody feels out here and essentially what happens is like you know they got to have the best this the best that or even they have to have a woman or a man with certain characteristics to represent them so if they're known to have light-skinned men their partner has to be light-skinned or if they are known to have uh certain men with certain amount of you know mat money or in a certain cast, then, you know, that right there is supposed to be like a representation of them. But essentially, that's not what this is. Like, the only person that can represent you is yourself. You can't identify yourself through your connection with other people. Because at the end of the day, those other people leave you. And once they leave you, guess what? You're stuck with, you're stuck with facing your own self and your own, um, you're stuck facing and trying to heal your own yourself and your own energies, right? Let's see what we got here. Yeah, we got the Empress card out here, and we got the Nine of Cups in reverse here. Yeah, so there could be a divine feminine or a or um, an Empress energy out here that isn't satisfied or happy in a connection because somebody is only with them because they look good, they smell good, they got things going for themselves, they have. Um, you know, because, you know, they got big booty, they got, you know, big, big titties, whatever, you know, they got the wallet, whatever it may be, but it's for sure is not love is the vibe that I'm getting here. Somebody is with somebody because of who they appear to be and not who they truly are, right? It's a superficial energy. Let's see what else we got here. We got the Knight of Wands out, Knight of Swords out here, full card. And we got the Knight of Sword, Nine of Swords. I mean, Nine of Wands in reverse here, right? So with the Knight of Swords in the reverse, that gave me the vibe of some kind of plan that did not work out. Somebody was um, trying to um, start over, maybe with the Empress or something like that. But this Empress is way too guarded for them to come in here with that bullshit. Is what I'm seeing here. This Empress might be overly guarded, or this, or it's like. Um, for some reason, they just don't have access. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, yeah. So, essentially what's happening here is this Empress, in order for them to get to this Empress, they're trying to lower your energetic energy. They're trying to lower your energy, right? 
they're trying to lower your vibrations in order to come in right because what essentially what's going on here is that you're happy you're you got your nine of cups you are strong, you are fully in your power, you probably got your money, you probably got everything you need, right? And this person wants to come in and share it with you, but before they could come in, they have to make it, make a chink in the armor so that they can make it seem like that they're helping you. That's that seven of sword energy in reverse here, that's that deception. They need you to doubt yourself or doubt something that you have so that they could come in and pretty much just offer themselves as an advisor or something like that. But the, the how the wise saying go was where the fuck was you when shit wasn't going well? This give me the perfect example of uh, Machiavelli the Prince. Machiavelli the Prince and Machiavelli the Prince. Um, Piccolo Machiavelli warned his nephew. He said, "Look, people were alliance with you when things are going good, but your true friends lie when are lying those who alliance with you or stick with you when shit is bad, right?" Whoever this person is, I can't say that they're good or bad, but the vibe that I'm getting here is that they're coming at the wrong time. Them coming in at this time and trying to deceive you out of your strength, trying to deceive you out of your head, make you feel like you're, you, need, you still need something else to be happy, make you feel like you need something else to you know to be strong it, that's the basically the vibe i'm getting here they're coming in to make you feel like you're missing something or you need something else to be happier and all that other mess but in reality you don't you got everything you need right everything you want everything you need you got it right this person is trying to do that in order to make you second doubt to doubt or second guess what's really going on with you and so that they could come in and you know try to alliance with you and you know even though you know and then pretend like they're helping you find that last thing that you need so that they could stay right excuse me that's kind of like stealing your watch and then selling it back to you that's exactly what this person is trying to do they're trying to steal something from you and sell it back to you let's see what else we got here we got the tower card out here. We got the will of fortune. And we got the star card out here. Yeah, you got three major arcanas back to back out here. That tower card has to do with uh, Scorpio or Pluto energy. You got Pluto, you got Jupiter, and you got Aquarius. So um, Jupiter in Aquarius has to do with humanitarian work, working with other people and helping people uh, move up in life. And not just that, just being an overall humanitarian. You know what I mean? Like just uh doing things for the sake of doing things for others is it just comes from the heart and then with that pluto in the uh in aquarius pluto and aquarius generally giving a vibe of uh remember i was talking about how in the lightest i mean in the in the in the um like how you got yin and yang energy and the darkest form of yin energy there is yang and in the brightest form of yang energy there is yin that's exactly the vibe that i'm getting here somebody is trying to get it to where they're trying to create darkness in your in your life some kind of way there's somebody's trying to create a tower or make it seem like you're going through a tower when in reality the tower that you're going through is only uh clearing itself away for you to have a certain blessing so whether this person comes in and helps you or not, you're still going to get what's for you. They just they're just trying to come in at this this time to try to make it seem like that they're a part of it and that they're helping you. But when they're not right. And there it's like they're I don't know if they're trying to be sneaky about it, but people are watching them and they notice what they're doing, because nine times out of ten, if they're trying to sabotage you and your goodness, uh, the people that they're friends with are thinking back. They're thinking long and hard. Like, wait a minute. It was kind of weird that this person just so happened to come in to try to help me and my situation are just like this. So people are paying attention. However, you're being attacked or uh, however people are, you know, however this person is, is doing what they do. Other people in the group, other people in their lives, other people that they alliance with and things of that nature are paying attention to how they did, how they're doing things and what they're doing. So 
And then they're comparing it to their own lives and times in their lives when it happened. So, yeah, somebody's getting ready to be walked away from is what I'm getting here. Somebody is so there. It's like their mind is so hell bent on the empress that they don't see that they're destroying themselves. That's what's going on. Essentially, somebody is like uh, destroying themselves. At least they're setting themselves up for failure. Maybe it's, uh, maybe doing that 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 spiritual bath ain't so good of an idea. Maybe it's setting that person up to failure. And you know what's weird? I thought I heard something bad about that snapping pussy back shit. Cause the vibe I heard, the vibe I get is that you just need to go to the doctor. You know what I mean? Cause you got a whole petri dish of shit going on down there. But the vibe I heard that, um, and this is why I always talk to like you know. Like when the, you know, women I dated or whatever. Because I did have one that used to use that vinegar shit. But now it opened my mind up to like, okay, if they're using that vinegar shit, that means that, you know, there's some bacteria down there. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just about snapping that shit back. It's, it, there's something going on down there. It's a wreck down there. You know what I mean? Hold on. Okay, let's see here. So now we have Neptune and uh, Taurus. Neptune and Taurus has to do with uh, pursuing ideas and things of that nature in order to uh, you know, bring about possessions and uh, goods and stuff like that. This has to do with somebody who's brainwashing and trying to figure out a way to uh, bring something in like bring their ideas into life their beliefs and their ideas into life right so let's see what's going on here yeah you got the nine of nine of cups out here and you have the king of pentacles out here so yeah if you do have an idea uh about some kind some kind of abstract idea or whatever whatever idea that you're working on something like that the universe is saying yes pursue that idea that idea is what's going to bring you a lot of money it's going to make you really happy and it's gonna uh bring about this um king of pinnacle energy here that's that's you you know take you know pretty much being successful confident and um you know rising to the occasion when it comes to the um to like uh i guess basically you'll have the mightiest touch right and pretty much everything you touch will turn to go if you you know pursue this idea or and pursuing this idea, this idea will come, will turn to gold. Okay, well, that's whoever whoever that's for. Uh, yeah, that you know what I'm saying. So don't be a shy, don't be afraid. And that's another thing. A lot of times people tell you that shit can't be done. That's because you're not even supposed to be talking to other people about the ideas you got. You know what I'm saying? If you got to run, you run your ideas past people. You, that's not the idea for you. What you need to do is, you know, don't get me wrong. You can get uh, opinions and stuff like that. But essentially, don't let their their opinion affect how you see something, because in reality, before Tesla, before um, who was that? Uh, uh, before Tesla was born, you know, Elon Musk. He had before all of it started. He owned a grocery store, and then he built that grocery store up to what it is now. You know what I'm saying? And then he started adding all kind of stuff onto it. You know what I'm saying? Like had he like you know had he just stayed with the grocery store i'm not saying he wouldn't have been as big as like walmart say per se but i'm saying that he expanded in a direction that most stores don't expand into he owns a store without owning actual store you see what i'm saying and whatever your idea is like you know just pursue it for yourself you ain't a lot of people gonna say oh it can't be done it can't this it can't do that don't listen to that shit it's better to fail and find out than it is to uh, never do it and find out somebody else did it and got got what was supposed to be yours. You have the tower here. That's that negative talk I was just talking about. Yeah, people will talk you out of your blessing by talking you out of your uh, out of your uh, ideas. No matter how far fetched your ideas are. You got the nine of wands out here in reverse. 
this nine of wands in reverse this has to do with uh you know being untrustworthy remember I was, I was just talking about that and then you have the strength card here yeah this is exactly what i was saying you got to have the strength to pursue it anyway regardless of what people say just go for it go for it let it speak for itself you're going to have to tell no matter what idea it is you're going to have some inherent risk you're going to have problems and stuff like that you're going to have to build this uh whatever this idea is you're going to have to uh tweak it along the way that's what's going to happen you got the aquarius car here yes whatever it is it's going to come out into the light where like whatever happens with this it's going to be mainstream whatever this idea is and that right there is what's going to lead you to a partnership whether you whether you succeed or fail in a trial situation it's going to lead you to someone else to help you along the way and not only that you got this seven of pentacles i mean seven of cups out of here it'll no longer be an idea it'll no longer be an idea it'll no longer be uh you um daydreaming about something it's something that you bring into fruition you see what i'm saying whatever this uh whatever it is you know yeah don't be scared bring it out all right that's all i wanted um i am uh, i wanted to be you know what i am gonna be petty i'm gonna you know look at this uh what dirty puss got going on come on show us dirty puss. come on ancestors show us dirty puss Dirty Puss kept digging in my energy. Oh, yeah. Let's see what's going on here. Mm, mm, mm. How your pussy get that dirty? Pussies are supposed to be clean, you know? That's inside your body, you know? Got the King of Cups out here. This could be like an empath or something like that. Let's see. Hold on. So this is a uh, fifth. Let's see. That's a Virgo energy. Yeah, this is a Virgo. This is a Virgo. King of Cups out here. You got the uh, empath card out here. All right. So this has to do with the empath. Let's see here. You got the King of Wands in reverse. And you got the uh, Queen of Swords in reverse. Yes. Yeah, so there's this. There's there's a King of Wands, a fire sign, and a Queen of Swords probably teaming up with this person here. Because I got Virgo Sun out here, right? So you got a Virgo, you got the King of Wands in reverse, uh, uh, Queen of Swords in reverse, and you also have a uh, empath out here working with them. That's what, four people? Four old ass motherfuckers out here? These old ass bitches got going on, man. Yeah, whoever this person is, they can't forget the past. They keep going back into the past is what's going on here with this uh, six, of so six of Cups in reverse. They kind of want to walk away from the past, but they can't because that's their new future. Now, see if the Six of Cups in reverse was in the in the end there's in a the destroyer slot, I could say, yeah, you're walking away from that. But it looked like they're walking back into something that they walked away from. And then you got this four four sword, and it's because this person overthink everything. This motherfucker be out here overthinking, thinking that they found a way to get over on somebody. But whatever manifestation that they've been coming up with, it ain't working. This person is a dreamer. They're not, they're stagnant. They're not moving anything. They're trapped. Whoever they are, they're trapped. Queen of Wands in reverse. Yep. They went to go get a witch. Uh, they went to go get a witch. Yep. Either they went to go get a witch or their instincts is telling them to go get a witch. But either way, uh, either they're doing spell work or they uh, went to go get somebody to do spell work. What I'm seeing here. There's a witch in this mix here. The goal is to win. So this person is trying to win or to have victory and have everybody looking at them in a certain kind of way. They're probably doing spell magic involving a six of wand energy in which they could get everybody to look at them as victorious and things of that nature. This is somebody who can't who can't take losing, right? Their emotions is right here. Emotionally, like in their heart, they want to negotiate. But they figured, like, in order to win, they have to win first in order to make it where people start buying down to them to negotiate and try to, you know, get this and that and all this other shit to happen, man. This is an old-ass bitch. And then uh, I had two cards flip over, but first and foremost, Earth Energy. This is an Ace of Wands. This, is, this person has been taking action. This person has been doing spell work and shit like that. Like, if you got money to do spell work, you got money to go to that doctor and get that pussy checked out. That's that's my that's my take on it. 
this person is getting ready to come in or they, they're going to try to come in which is probably why they was being instructed to take that that pussy bath to get rid of that scent so that they can come in and try to get closer to you because that right there was was that's that's one thing that i didn't even think about that until now i would never even thought about that that's how you know that that person has been you know is is that magician because they pussy gonna stink they got a scent to them yeah now we know now we know this motherfucker stink yeah so let's see what else we got here You got the three of cups. This person isn't acting alone. They plan to ambush you. And you got the chariot. They're trying to delay you again. They're, it's the same shit. They're trying to slow slow you down. Ultimately, let's see why are they trying so hard to slow you down. It has to do with your ability. They want to keep planning your elbow. They want to keep trying to tap in and play in your ability. So the best thing that the, in order to do that, they need you to be unbalanced and they need you to have be uh, self-confident. And you know, as nasty is that this person go to the, the bathroom and you imagine if that person didn't wash their hands and they touching all kind of shit. You know what I mean? With that scent. Because some stuff you can wash off with soap, but you don't kill all bacteria with soap. Especially some bacteria that's inside of you, you don't always kill that with soap. You don't always kill that with soap. Yep, three of wands out here in reverse. You got the uh, the six of pentacles in reverse. And you got to say, yeah, there's nothing but conflict in this person's life. They can't see past fighting. That's all this shit is. This is, this is just somebody who want to fight. You know what I'm saying? Well, they got a new battle to fight. It's called bacteria. It's called bacteria, bitch. Bacteria and funky smells. Yeah, let us know how you... Well, we don't want to know. We don't give a fuck how you bear. Nobody gives a shit. That's been my dumbass reading for the day. Um, I mean, for today. I'll probably do another reading later. Um, right now... I need to air this motherfucker out. <laughs> I need to go buy me some milk and some vinegar and take a milk and vinegar bath. <laughs> I need to. I, <laughs> I need to snap these dick, snap these old balls back. Snap these balls back. All right. Uh, catch up with y'all later. Uh, I'll let y'all know how the spiritual bath go. I'm expecting my balls to be smooth as bow tie, uh, smooth as eggs. All right. Peace. <laughs>